I feel like you guys probably know what's going on because I've been like talking about it all week. Hi, Steampunk. Um, today we're making Crokenbush, which is basically, I've never had it before. I had never even heard of it until Noel Evergarden did our meal redemption today. I had to, I literally had to Google it. It's, it's basically a giant tower of cream puffs and uh, it's covered with like a caramel sugar kind of candy floss and uh, it's just like a very elegant festive dessert. So we're making like a small-ish -er version of it. Whoa! I did not see that. Guys, check this out. Dave sending over this really hardcore goth crokenbush. I've never seen anything so cool. It's literally black. I wonder how they achieved that. Crokenbush? Bush. It's not bush, it's bush. Crokenbush? I don't know. That This is seriously cool. It is pretty crazy looking. I wonder how they achieved the black. I wonder if it's like uh, activated charcoal or something, but uh, that's sick. I don't know. It's really creepy. I like it. It's dark, semi-sweet chocolate. Okay, well, I'm not going to be making that. Maybe next time. Let's see how well this one goes and um, if we nail it. How did they get their pastries to be so round? I thought the pastries were supposed to be kind of like a little textured. I'm kind of impressed that these are such perfect like little balls. I don't know. It's gorgeous. But that's not what we're doing today. We're going to keep it a little bit more simple. Yeah, they're usually kind of lumpy, I thought. At least the, the ones that I was looking at are like a little bit lumpier. Um, interesting. Let me uh, pull up my recipe here and start taking stock of what's going on. So over here I have egg yolk and whole egg. Did I tell you guys the story of how I, when I was a kid, I had a muffin top, not like on my body. Like I literally had a physical mu baked muffin yeah. top that I was saving and I put it back in the bag while I was eating the bottom and my dad came up to me and went, oh, do you not want this? And then popped it in his mouth. <laughs> and I've been, I've been traumatized ever since and I've like never let him forget it. <laughs> All right, so we have our uh, cornstarch and sugar and egg mixture. Oh God, I'm making a mess. I think we all saw that coming. Whoa. Don't burn yourself. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Yes. Got this. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm still holding the bowl. <laughs> <sighs> okay, that's like about half of it, maybe. Oh, I did spill a little bit of milk because like, it has a really nice flat bottom, so it, it does get the entire percent. bottom. So this thing is awesome for doing like custard and, just, and so stuff like that. Because it comes in full contact with the bottom of the pot. I think we have a competition here. Ooh, I can feel it thickening. Whoa! Hey, I just felt the texture change. That is so weird. I literally just felt the texture get thick. Oh god! Oh god, it's getting thick! Ah! So we're making the pastry part of the cream puff. I do not prepare for the test, and I missed two questions, and it was because they were written poorly. All right, there we go. The SpongeBob is pretty crazy. The SpongeBob is inflatable. The Donkey Kong also also a a, a new favorite. I would say it's like I, it's probably my most recent hat, and uh, it's been a very silly one so far. There are definitely some that we see more than others, you know. All right, so we're gonna um, bring this to a full rolling boil. So you can see uh, like we got our butter in here, kind of melting. Okay, 
I'm ready. Noelle, thank you so much for the tip of like have re having everything ready to go ahead of time. That was a really good call. I feel a lot better knowing that I can just take the flour and just dump it and not have to worry about it. Because we do kind of have to move sort of fast, sort of, you know? Yeah, I'm prepared for vigor. I'm ready to mix. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry that I'm just like bugging you every step of the way. I, you really are the expert here, so thank you for helping. I feel so much more confident like having you give me advice. Literally, it's, it's like having a master class. It's amazing. Thank you, and I, I truly appreciate it. This is so fun. <laughs> okay, he's got some special candy. It happens. If that's what helps you get through the stress, like, do it, dude. Get that takeout. Have someone else make those tacos for you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in here, and then we're gonna um, put it in the stand mixer and beat it. <laughs> Yeah, without you having to be the test subject. They're called groovy chews. Ooh, groovy. So now we want to mix it at low speed to kind of cool it down a little bit to somewhere between 110 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And then am I kind of doing it in like a circle or am I kind of doing it like a macaron where I just stick it in one place and just do like a little mound? Do I do like a little poop swirl? Like... Oh, shit, it's already coming out. Like a macaron? Okay, let's do it. All right, ready? Drum roll. What do we think? They're like a nice light golden brown. Cute and puffy. It looks like it's melted. I think it's melted. I think it's melted. So I'm going to stop stirring. tell how we're doing okay okay I'm gonna take the uh, plastic wrap and just smush it down again Yeah, she kind of finds the crack. Okay, let's just let's just experiment with it. I don't know. Like this tip feels like it's too large, but let's just um, see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna. Oh, you can kind of feel it. You can kind of feel it like swell. That's awesome. It has been sitting for a little. It's kind of hard. <laughs> we might be fucked. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm not risking anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not risking it anymore. I can't. I'm too scared. I've had my heart broken once before. I can't do it again tonight. I just have to be really careful not to touch it. If I touch it, I, I could burn myself bad. Because if this, if I flip this out onto a plate and it collapses, I'm going to cry. 
in front of all of you. It's not, it's not stringing. I know, but I can't get the floss to work and the floss is like the most important visual part. Literally though, it would be pretty funny if this first batch worked. I gotta clean that pan out though, because I think that's the one that I need. The first this is absolutely the hard part. To be honest, the other parts were easy. Like they required a lot of attention, but they weren't that difficult. This is very difficult. I don't know how to make candy. And uh, our first batch was a, was a pretty big fail. The second batch was close, but I, it just cooled down too fast, I think. Okay. Well, technically this is the first time. This is the first one that I screwed up. So yeah, you know what they say, first time is the charm after the third try. <laughs> okay, we're sort of flossing. We're sort of flossing. We're flossing. We're flossing. Woo! Guys, we're flossing. I see floss. but we gotta just work with what we got. Okay, I'm gonna put my plate down and I'm gonna hope that this thing holds together. Please okay. don't collapse on me. All right, are you guys ready? Sophia, you're killing me. Good Lord. What is this monstrosity? Whoa, That's it's cool. leaning a little bit. So please don't mind the uh, please don't mind the no, slight it's, angle. No, it's just because it's on the plate like that. It's not. It's... No, it's not. <laughs> it's leaning, <laughs> but it's uh, it's an it is a crocum bush, bush, crocum bush. It's great. the leaning tower of crocum bush. All right, I'm just trying to stick this stuff around it. It does look pretty cool. It doesn't look like a, like it doesn't look angelic. It looks kind of like, it looks kind of metal, I would say. It's a pretty metal crocombouche because it's very like spiky and hard. Yeah, that's a punky crocombouche. It's kind of a punky crocombouche, yeah. It's got, it's got some attitude. You got some sass. I like it. Thanks. Personality. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, your floss looks awesome. I know, but it's totally the wrong texture. Whatever. At least it's flossy. We're the only ones that know about the texture. <laughs> no, I know, but you can tell because it's supposed to, you're supposed to be able to gather it like, oh. uh, you're supposed to be able to gather it and kind of while it's soft, kind of like wrap it around. Oh, and mine's, YouTube. mine has, uh, it's because it was, the hard crack stage of candy yeah it basically makes very crunchy candy it rather than like a awful. soft yep yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. 
this is like insanely cool and I really kind of want this to go on top. Um, <laughs> like an angry sea urchin, I know. Either that or this one. This one's pretty cool looking too. It's like glass. Like if I could like stick it in the top. But this one is so cool looking. Come on. The sugar's still hot, so. Like <laughs> shove it right here in your face. Would you think he would have already been done at least for a week? <laughs> <laughs> You're so good. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, it broke. It broke. The the big piece that I want to put on top. Okay, we have another one that's gonna be good too. Yeah. That one can be a stab on top for all you do. Yeah. Your sugar is like. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's even better. It's cool. Look at that. That's badass. That is really cool looking. See? Okay, but now my board's dirty. Ah. My board was supposed to be clean for the photo. Okay. I will take pictures because I know it's kind of hard to see at the angle, but guys, we fucking did it. We did it. <laughs> She's a champion. So this one has like a crazy topper. Can you guys see that? I know it's a shitty angle, but look at that cool topper on top. It looks fucking like I have a sore on It's super metal. Yeah. 